Hi everyone, I'm back today with another video and you may have seen some of my other vegan kind unboxing videos. I tend to do one every other month, but this one's slightly different. If you didn't already know, the vegan kind also do a quarterly beauty box. So their other box is mainly like lifestyle, it contains food and you get one kind of beauty or general living product. I used to be subscribed to this and I used to find that it was actually like a really nice treat, especially if you're just transitioning to going vegan. I don't know about you, but when I first went vegan, I thought about food first, and then I concentrated on like beauty products and makeup and stuff, and it can feel really overwhelming at first. So when I first went vegan, I found this really helpful for kind of just like building up my vegan beauty collection, I guess. It's also a really lovely treat for yourself. And because it's only quarterly, you don't really feel like it's like an expensive thing that you're committed to like on a monthly basis. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick up my little dog because he's walking around on the floor making loads of noise. Hopefully he'll just sit here and be quite well behaved. <laughs> anyway, so the beauty box is only 15 pounds a quarter plus, plus three pounds 15 postage and packaging in the UK. So all in all 18 pounds 15 per quarter and you get some really nice treats. Let's have a little look inside and I'll talk you through everything that I've got in this month's box and just kind of offer like my first impressions. I haven't really even looked inside this box yet and I haven't tried anything, so this is completely off the cuff, first impressions. Okay, so just like with the other vegan kind box, you get your little like menu card thing that just kind of talks about everything that's in the box. And just like with the other box as well, a certain percentage, this is 20p from each box, gets donated to an animal charity. So with the other monthly box, I think it's 10p from every box sold. And this one is 20p. And this month, 20p is going to Animal Free Research UK. And I always think like, it's really good when companies like this support relevant charities because you feel like, okay, it's a treat for yourself, but then you're also, helping a really good cause by subscribing or buying a one-off box or something. Okay, lots of recyclable paper, good to see. So the first product is, and we might have to look at the card as well as I go through it. Okay, so this is by a brand called Figs and Rouge and it's called Hydroactive 3-in-1 Hero Cream. The tin of this is really lovely see if you can see. So what does this do? Vitamins A, C and E, 24 hour intense moisture support for your face and body. I am always so happy to get a new moisturising product because I have to say, I don't think I found like my holy grail vegan moisturiser. I tend to get my skincare quite cheaply from Superdrug, which I'd really recommend because they're really great quality products and they're cheap and they're clearly labelled vegan and cruelty free. But I don't feel like I've really found that one moisturising product that, I don't know, I'm totally, totally in love with. So I'm always happy to receive things like this. Oh. You can see it's like full. I think it's really quite different having it in a tin. I quite like that. Wow, I've just noticed that this normally costs 18 pounds a tin. Wow. You've already, with this, basically got your money's worth. Oh, it's really soft. It's really light. Oh my God, the smell. It didn't really smell that strong when I smell it in here, but the smell, Oh my God, that is beautiful. I'm so happy with that. I'll leave all the links below for like all of the products that I talk about in this video, but you can find these at figsandrouge.com. I already know that this is gonna be used a lot daily, in fact, from now onwards. Okay, next up we've got this Chirp Body Softness 100% Natural Hair Mask, RRP 17.95. I'm just a little bit stunned at how much this stuff costs and like the amazing value of this box so far. Yeah, I don't particularly splash out on skincare, so getting treats like this that are worth like nearly 20 pounds feels amazing. Again, just like with moisturizer, I'm always trying different hair products 
I definitely have a few like favourite ones that I go to, but I'm always happy and looking to try a new product. So I love hair products and I'm going to really look forward to using this. So this is 100% natural ingredients, pure oil blend, plant-based, vegan, not tested on animals, artisan, crafted. I love that word artisan. Okay, so you put this on before you wash your hair, you apply it to dry hair and scalp, leave to absorb for 25 minutes, shampoo hair twice thoroughly afterwards and condition if desired. Say hello to softer and more revitalised hair. And it's made in the UK, yay. I love that it's in like this kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me of like a smoothie or drinks carton. So excited to try this. I might try this this weekend actually. I love a good hair treatment, probably like once a month or, yeah, I'm not that organised at the moment and probably more like once every two or three months, but I need to do it more often. Love this, can't wait to try it. And next up, we've got this, I'm not sure how you say it, Zeru Towel Off Body Wash Foam Waterless. Cleans and refreshes without water. I mean, I've never heard of anything like this. Body wash foam, you just towel off. I'm just thinking like, I don't even know what and when I would use this. Oh, I guess maybe if like you go camping or to a festival, maybe that's why it's been put in this summer box because it's like festival season. So maybe something like this would be good in that situation. Let me just read what it says on here. Oh, and this RRP's for 3.99. Sorry if you can hear like any drilling and saw noise, by the way. Um, my husband's currently having a shed built right outside this room. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's exactly what I thought anyway. Um, this is ideal for festivals, camping, traveling, sports and after fitness classes or the gym. I didn't even think about the gym actually. I'm so intrigued by this because I've literally never heard of anything like this before. I might just squirt a little bit on my hands. Ooh. Oh my God, that smells, that smells really nice. Okay, so it's kind of damp. It reminds me, it smells a bit like baby wipes, I think. That's really interesting. I'm not going to any festivals. Um, I feel like my festival days are over. I'm not very good in situations where I feel really dirty. <laughs> um, and we're not even going camping. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna use that, to be honest, but it's a really handy product to have. Maybe once I go back to the gym, I'll try it out there. I think it'll be good if it just makes you feel like really fresh. So, and it's a really decent size to like carry around in your handbag. I could imagine like if you're going traveling on a road trip or anything like that, this would be so handy. Okay, next up we have got Tisserand Aromatherapy Happy Rollable. I've heard of these before. I love things like this, I really do, I really, anything that's designed to make you just feel a bit better in general, I really love. Okay, so it says on here, ideal to brighten and uplift, always could do with some of that, um, and to use it you gently roll onto pulse points, so your temples, behind your ears, or nape of neck, I'm not sure where that is, is that there? So this has bergamot and lemon tea tree in it. I'm so excited about this. I think I'm gonna go for a bit on my wrists. I'm not really sure how much you should roll on, but, oh my God. Even just smelling that is really uplifting. It's quite zesty and lemony. I'm just like going in on this now. I'm not sure what that reminds me of. It's a scent that I've definitely had before, but I just love products like this and it feels such good quality as well. And then like a little glass bottle. And this RRP's for $5.95. I'm gonna do like a tally up at the end of how much this box is worth so far, but it seems like quite a bit. Okay, next up, I'm really excited about this one as well. Um, it's a mini Eden perfume. So I think when I first went vegan, Eden perfumes, I think they'd only just come about actually. They were recommended to me as a really good vegan perfume and they basically, if you have a scent that you really love already, I think like quite a major brand scent, um, like my one always used to be Emporio Armani, that used to be like my signature scent. Um, 
I think if you go onto their website, they will show you the equivalent that they make that smells exactly the same as like the high-end non-vegan brand. I have bought a couple of their perfumes before. They usually have like an offer on like two for something. I can't remember how much they are, like 15 pounds maybe, two for 15 pounds. Um, but they're generally at things like VegFest and vegan shows as well. So yeah, they're a really good brand to look out for. And they've actually now even got a shop in Brighton. So if you wanna go in there and chat to them or pick up a bottle or, or like smell, smell's so important, isn't it? But if you wanna try out fragrances in person, then definitely head to Brighton and go in their shop. So this one is Daisy Perfume. Yeah, so a full size one is seven pounds, it says. Um, but this is just like a little test one. I love that it has like a massive vegan sign on the front. I'm gonna be like smelling of so many different things today. Oh my gosh. That is actually probably a scent I would go for. I'm really surprised by that. I think because it's called Daisy, I was expecting it to be like super floral and sweet. But that is quite, that is definitely a fresh, strong scent. I'm gonna wear this today and see if anyone comments on it because my test for a good scent is when you wear it and you walk into a room and people are like, oh my God, what's that smell like? What are you wearing? And I love that this is mini actually. I'm actually happier that this is a 10 mil version than a full size version because I don't have anything like this that I can carry around in my purse or handbag. And I hate being out sometimes, especially when we sit in like cafes or I don't know, that smell you get like if you've eaten food out and you come out and you just smell like, a bit stale or like you've you've been near a cooker or something I hate that so I'm always like oh I wish I had something on me and I'm actually so happy this is a miniature version because this is gonna go in my handbag and come in such use okay last up we have got a little sample um, from faith in nature and this is brave botanical shampoo moisture boost in Creamy coconut blended with frangipani. Come on, focus. So this is just like a mini um, sample size, seven mils, but for a full size bottle of Faith in Nature, it's six pounds 50. And Faith in Nature are just a really good vegan UK brand that I've supported since day one of going vegan. I, there's so many of their products that I love and every now and then I'll just go on the website and do like a bulk buy of shampoos and conditioners from them because they never fail to deliver for me and they're always really lovely scents. Um, I'm not gonna open this one because I kind of like wanna save it until I use it. So that is everything in the box. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six items. I'm just gonna do a tally up and let you guys know the full value of this box. Okay, so just for the four full size items, that has come to 45 pounds, 89 pence. That is ridiculous. That's not including the two sample sizes, which is difficult to put a price on, but I guess for that, you might pay a couple of pound and for this maybe a pound. So you're looking nearly on 50 quid for everything you've got in this box. I mean, that is such amazing value. You've got to agree, that is incredible value. And as always with like these subscription boxes, you might not love every single item in the box. I don't know, like sometimes it probably can be hit and miss as to if you're gonna love everything in the box. But for me, that's part of the enjoyment. I like trying new things. And I think it's nice to have surprises and be introduced to new brands as well, because if you were just sent your favorite things all the time, yeah, it'd be nice, but I think you'd be pretty bored because you'd just know what was coming in every box. As always, I'll link everything below. So if you fancy going and buying one of these products, um, all of that information will be below, along with a link to the vegan kind. Anyway, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.